Yeah, it's the back of the bench. It doesn't have to be the exact same. It's rough, very rough. Um, so yeah, I would just start with what's on top. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The shorter ones are less useful. We got shit down here. We need four footers, right? Forty. Yeah, that's forty-two. Yeah, they need to be taller than the bench. Yeah, and I'm just saying that they're short enough. I think because they don't have to be four foot, but we need them a little taller than the bench so we can get a screw a, a screw down into it. But even then, a screw going at an angle would work as long as the couch isn't above forty-two inches, which it won't be. So yeah, I would say, yeah, just because we don't even have to cut these, it's getting the best use out of it. Yeah, so these would be a minimum size, and mm -hmm. really anything over, if we don't have to cut it, is fine. Mm, yeah, sticking up is no big deal. Right. All right. Yep. Oh yeah? Did you beat them mercilessly? Mercilessly? Yeah. Yep. A, mer a merciless beating? Yeah, Smelling. Am I smelling like fuel, propane? What am I smelling? I know that Diesel. smell. What? Diesel? Diesel. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, never mind. Oh, yeah, that would be the, uh, yep. the, the truck. Never mind. False alarm fires out. That's good. Diesel. Yep. moldable. Twenty three hundred degrees sealant. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Is that all? For use in patching and it's laying hot crack. You know, they, they just say like, oh just hot cracks, joint seams. It's like hot. Twenty three hundred degrees <laughs> hot. Cracks and voids to be sealed should be clean and dry, free of all instrument more degrees, so you put on the next to be sealed should be clean and dry, free of all instrument more degrees, so you put on the next. Okay. So, how do I want to work this?
Yep. Uh, no. So it looks like we won't have to rip anything down, just some chopping. Uh, I mean, as long as they're all, they're all two by fours. So. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. This is where our hose clamp was in the path of the fire right here. And you see it got, uh, that uh, damaged it. Well, that's what happens. So they stuck to the clamp, eh? Yeah, a little bit. All right, so. Um, so yeah, we, the two sheets, we'll use the uh, OSB and the plywood. These two are 4x8s. Don't worry about the thickness. Nope. So we'll get this corner. You got it? So you just grab a board. <clears throat> Let's see what kind of... So the wall's a little bowed, but that's fine. So basically, just get one in there, and then, uh, you know, you probably want to mark a 42 inch line. Yeah. Or at least place. every foot, you can put it on here and mark like one, two, three, four, or whatever. And then get a couple of screws above 42 inches where we can. Yeah. Where there's a 42 incher, or the ones that were really close, Shouldn't just get one screw down at an angle so we can easily get it out when the bench is done. And that's, that's it, and just work your way down. And then if it doesn't want to stay put, you know, we can just lean something heavy on it, whatever. We can put a barrel, Bricks. we can put this barrel in front of it. It'll be fine. Yeah, stay in it for now. I might just, for good measure, we can just do that. And then yep. you can move it as you need to. I'll start marking some And uh, were these all from Wonderboard? Yeah, we can, yeah, we can use those. Do you have your uh, your magnet driver, or do you care? Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. 